One of the interesting things about the film is the shift of tone. I mean, yeah. constantly between very serious, painful, and hilarious, and, and, and all that. How, how much of that was in the script, and how much is from the editing room? Uh, it's both. I mean, the script was fantastic, and it's, it's a wild ride of a script. And you have these unreliable narrators um, with, as it says in the very beginning of the film, wildly contradictory stories. Um, and it really is. It's very emotional, uh, it's very tragic, and it's also very, very funny. And so, you know, that was the f foundation, obviously, and the performances brought more to that. Uh, Craig Gillespie's direction brought even more to that. And then I got to bring even more by putting it together and finding all the nuances and the little bits and pieces to, to build. But now, there, there's, there's scenes where people break the fourth wall, talk yeah. directly to the camera. Um, now, how tricky is that to deal with? Because you have some scenes with voiceovers, some scenes you see as it's going on, mm -hmm. and some people commenting on, on... Exactly, there are the three things. So in the script, in the original script, it was all written as interviews. Uh, there was no voiceover, and there was no breaking the fourth wall. <clears throat> and so Craig, one, that was one of the first things that I said to him, is like, well, there are kind of a lot of talking heads in this. And he's like, no, 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 I have this whole plan. We're going to shoot a lot of stuff, and we're going to have a lot of energy and movement, and we can figure out that balance of interview and voiceover as, you know, as we go through the process. Then he had this idea of breaking the fourth wall, which I thought was really uh, amazing and, and a difficult thing to pull off. But what happened was he actually saw a documentary with Tanya Harding when she was 15. And um, she was speaking very bluntly and emotionally detached about the abuse that she had experienced, that her mother hit her and stuff like that. And he was really moved by this. And this is what the survival mechanism of, that people go through when they're abused. And he was trying to come up with some way that he can incorporate that into the film because he wanted the violent scenes in the film to not be sugar-coated. And, um, you know, to, to be really real because it informs who Tanya Harding is and why she did the things that she did. And so he came up with this device of breaking the fourth wall, which I thought really worked lovely. Um, and it's, it's, it's the older Tanya speaking about what happened in that moment rather than cutting to interview or using voiceover. And, and you sort of get this detached subconscious feeling that happens with that talking to the camera. Survival. Yeah. And um, now I was talking with one director who said it's very hard to find a good editor, but it's really hard to find an editor who understands performances. Mm. I mean, do you think that's true? Well, I think every good editor needs to understand performance, yeah. I think that's what it's all about. I think it's, the, it's always the most important part of the process, that you have to always cut for emotion, um, then story, um, then continuity. I mean, those are, those are sort of the rules that you follow. Um, if you've lost somebody emotionally, then there's no, there's no point. <laughs>